CV and welcome back to another episode of Twisted Nostalgia. Now I have to admit something really quickly to you. I uh, never thought in my entire career being a YouTuber that I would be making a video about My Little Pony. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with My Little Pony, it's just, it's random. <laughs> Basically what happened was I went on to the community tab on my YouTube channel and I asked you guys what you wanted to see for Twisted Nostalgia and so many people commented My Little Pony so I am granting your wishes right now. Here's the thing though, I have not watched the recent seasons of My Little Pony because that wasn't really in my childhood era, you know what I mean? I grew up in the 90s. So in today's video we're going to be more focusing on the actual My Little Pony toys and the earlier versions of the show that I would have seen when I was a kid. But yeah, I have not actually watched the new versions of the animated My Little Pony show. I'm sorry, don't kill me. Don't come out for me or anything. Okay, I'm sorry. So whenever I do a video like this, just like I did for Build-A-Bear, Play-Doh, Beanie Babies, I basically talk about weird and strange facts. So some are funny, some are scary, some are weird, some you may have just not have known about. It's gonna be like a full mix in this video. And please comment down below which other nostalgic items you would like me to talk about in my next video. I do read through your comments. I do write stuff down to do. So please do not be afraid to communicate with me. <laughs> also, don't forget the first few episodes of Running With Violet Season 2 is now out on their channel. The link is down below in the description. Please go check them out. Go watch them and let me know what you guys think. I think you will love them. Okay, so let's get into this video and I just want to say a slight disclaimer. All of these facts I found online, My Little Pony, the brand, has not told me themselves that all of these things are true. These are just things that I found online. Just a disclaimer. And I know that My Little Pony has kind of like a cult following. I don't mean to offend anybody in this following. These are just facts I found online, okay? So here's the first fact that I find so strange, and that's the first My Little Pony toy wasn't little at all. So before My Little Pony was called My Little Pony, it was called My Pretty Pony. It was actually a larger 10-inch sized horse. It came out in 1981, so quite a while ago. It had brushable hair, the ears would wiggle, she could move her tail, she could blink, so she did quite a lot of stuff. But one thing that was kind of unfortunate is she only came in one color. So she never came in pink, purple, blue, all kinds of pretty colors. So a few years later, they decided to completely change that design. They made them smaller, made them more colorful. And then the first cartoon aired in 1986. It used to be called My Little Pony. Pony and Friends because the first half of the episode would be about My Little Pony and the second half of the episode would be about some other toy product. For example, Mr. Potato Head and his family. So My Little Pony never had an actual full episode. It was always sharing with another toy. You know what I mean? I also had no idea that Mr. Potato Head had its own like show. <laughs> That's so funny to me. It says it's apparently a bunch of little potato children being watched over by Mr. Potato Head. Why why would that be interesting? I have absolutely no idea. A show about potatoes. This next fact is very, very weird, okay? In 1989, Hasbro came out with a very strange My Little Pony line. They were called Drink and Wet Ponies. Drink and Wet. That's such a weird thing. It's basically about baby My Little Ponies who are wearing diapers, and whenever you get the diaper wet, let's say you bring it into the pool or bring it into the bath, their diapers will change color. There'll be hearts all over it. There'll be patterns all over their diapers, but it won't happen unless you get it wet. So basically the baby pony will pee into the diaper and it'll change the diaper color. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this with my hands. It says that the magical hearts that appear on their diapers are supposed to represent when you go number one and when you go number two. So instead of poop, we got some hearts. So I guess, you know, that's better than poop. I just want to know who's pitching these ideas though, like it's so random. Please let me know if you remember having those diaper My Little Pony toys. <laughs> I kind of want to see this in action though, like I kind of want to see if there's YouTube videos that'll show how it actually works. <laughs> this next fact is something that I definitely remember. When My Little Pony first came out, there were only six ponies, and these were the six original ponies, and I had these as a kid growing up. The ponies' names were Snuzzle, Butterscotch, Bluebell, Mint 
Minty, Blossom, and Cotton Candy, and these were all produced in 1982. And yes, I wasn't born in the 80s, but when I was in the 90s, I think these toys were still really popular, and like my older cousins would pass them down to me to play with. So these are the ponies that I remember as a child. And when these six ponies came out, they were called the Flatfoots, and that's because these were the only ponies that had this pose. It says they have flat feet rather than concave feet. Their heads are facing forward and down, and this pose for the ponies was never used again after that year. So any My Little Pony toy you see after them has a totally different pose. Now just like Beanie Babies, where you can have a rare Beanie Baby to sell for a lot of money, there are also rare My Little Ponies. Apparently if you have a Rapunzel Pony, that is going for $800. Apparently there are a bunch of Venezuelan My Little Ponies that are selling for a lot of money. There are also a collection of Greek My Little Ponies that are selling on eBay for $750. So it says that every few years, a new rare My Little Pony will like pop up, especially if they were made in other places around the world. But like, I want to Rapunzel My Little Pony. What, like, do you know what sucks? When I was really little and I was kind of growing out of all of my toys, I think I sold each of my My Little Ponies for like $1. I don't know if they'd be worth more now because I definitely had the ones from the 80s. But when I was a kid, I just wanted that $1, you know? You know when you're a kid and like one or two dollars is just so much money to you? I also sold my Nintendo DS for like 50 cents and like serious regrets now. The next fact is like really cool but also really creepy but I'm so intrigued. There are different artists online that sell their own versions of My Little Pony on like Etsy and stuff. So they take a pony and turn it into like an actor, a character from a movie, an alien, a zombie. So there are a bunch of artists online who are so talented but they kind of turn My Little Pony into something creepier and weirder. So for example, you can find a xenomorph My Little Pony, which is obviously a really creepy alien. You can also find a pony that's been turned into the Joker from Batman. So you can probably find any character from a movie who's been turned into a pony, which is funny, but like awesome and creepy, but also cool. There's so many emotions at the same time. The next fact is kind of scary, but mostly for children. And it's that when the show first came out, like way, way back in the 80s, the children were really afraid of the villains that they had on the show. So for example, there was a villain named Lord Tyrek, and he was in the very first animated TV special. So while the ponies were really, really cute, this villain really made children afraid. A lot of parents were complaining, a lot of kids had nightmares, and it's because they made this villain to kind of look like a demon, like they gave him really big horns, they made him terrifying for a kid show. This villain apparently turned humans into demons, and actually forced the ponies to pull his chariot of midnight so like he was making the pony slaves so when the show first came out it had a really dark undertone and gave a lot of kids nightmares the last thing we're going to talk about is actually kind of scary as well there is a creepy pasta about slender man it's kind of funny too to be honest so you guys know all about the creepy pasta about slender man it's been scaring people for years and years i'm pretty sure it came out in like 2008 2009 he's depicted as a thin unnaturally tall humanoid with a feature his head and face and wearing a black suit. He basically goes after children and it's just a really popular creepypasta. If you've never heard of Slender Man, pause this video and go look him up because there's so much you need to know. Anyways, people came up with Slender Mane, which like I said is the pony version of Slender Man. It says it started off as a fan fiction and since then it has inspired a ton of fan art about Slender Mane. It says that some people even claim that Slender Mane appears in the show. Some fans have slowed down and enhanced footage to show possible sightings of this slender pony. So some people claim this is a real thing in the show and some people just say no it's all made up it's all a fan thing. Anyways though guys those are all of the weird scary and fun facts I could find about My Little Pony online. Like I said this is all based on like the 80s and 90s versions of My Little Pony because that's when I was growing up. If you have any facts about the newer seasons definitely comment it down below and also don't forget the first few episodes of Running with Violet season Season 2 are out now on the YouTube channel. Go check it out. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!